So this morning I'm going to go photograph some ducks. Uh, I'm going to go to the same pond that I always go to and uh, I'll take you guys along and share some tips and tricks on kind of what I do um, to sneak up on them and, and to photograph them. And uh, hopefully this video can help somebody uh, go to a pond near their place and apply that type of stuff and hopefully get some good shots. It's uh, spring going into early summer right now, so it's still kind of cold in the mornings. It's 10 a.m. Uh, I would like to go a little earlier, around 8 a.m. would be better. There's more activity in, in the ponds at 8 a.m. But uh, I couldn't get myself together that early this morning. So 10 a.m. it is. Um, so I'm getting the uh, camouflage on. I'll put my camouflage jacket on and we'll get going. Uh, most of the grass is green now. The camouflage is brown. But it's better than wearing this. So we'll throw that on and I'll bring you guys along and uh, head just down the road actually and uh, photograph some ducks. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're at the pond. Um, it's just off the road, which is perfect. If you can find a pond that's just off a trail um, or just off the road, make it easy on yourself. You know, you could park, gather your gear, sneak in. It's you know, there's there's a lot of watering holes around here in northern Ontario. Uh, I'm in greater city of Sudbury right now, and so. You don't need to hike. You don't need to hike at all. You don't need to hike 22 kilometers. Uh, that sounded weird. 22 kilometers are two kilometers, I meant to say. So I'm just going to sneak up this ridge. I'll bring the camera along with me. So we're just going to go up this ridge. I'm going to take a peek over the other side here. And uh, we're going to see if there's any ducks in the water. And this is right around the time where you want to start kind of being quiet. There could literally be a duck 20 feet away from me right now. So, um, But this high ridge, if you have a high ridge or tall grass, um, all of this is going to work to your advantage to be able to sneak up. So. When you're crawling, keep your hand over the front of your lens as you're crawling through the grass. No grass or stick or pollen is going to touch that lens and it's still going to be clean when you go to photograph. The last thing you want to do is crawl back, blow some stuff off the front of your lens and then crawl all the way back up. So, there's a duck right there. The ducks are kind of far, okay. But that's okay, because I'm laying down, I'm in a comfortable position. I could stay like this for an hour, okay. If you're patient, it will pay off. The pond's not that big. Eventually, they will swim by you. Okay. They do have certain spots they prefer. They might not be in the perfect spot when you crawl up here. As you could hear, the only thing near me are seagulls. But if you're patient, okay, I could put my camera in my head like this. I could take my hat. I could take my hat and stay like this for an hour. When something swims by, I got it. 
So this is how I spend my days off. The other thing is, don't change your position because you never know when something's going to fly in. Ducks are flying in and out all the time. So just hold your position. Um, if your arm falls asleep, reposition your body, but hold your position. Stay patient. Your patience will pay off. Crawl slow. Use your elbows and cover your lens. Okay? I just want to show you how much cover I have in front of me. I have enough to stay hidden, but I have enough to shoot through too. Okay, so I just wanted to recap on what I'm doing here. I'm shooting on aperture priority. Um, it's wide open. My shutter speed is plenty fast, okay. Um, my ISO is 400. It's an overcast day and it's about noon. I have enough shutter speed that if these ducks decide to take off, um, I'll be able to freeze them in motion, okay. I'm also shooting on burst mode, always, 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 because I'm, you never know when you're going to need it. The wind's picked up, so I hope it, the audio's okay. The ducks are closer now, it's been close to an hour, I got three solid shots, um, which is, is really good, I'm actually really satisfied already. Um, I couldn't videotape for a while because the ducks were so close I would wreck it so um, just stay patient adjust your settings beforehand again I'm on aperture priority um, stay in one spot that's the key if you could sneak in without being seen uh, you're pretty much uh, you're pretty much golden at that point okay so do not swing your camera towards the ducks. Always let the ducks swim into your frame. Never, never swing your camera at the duck. When they're this close, you can't risk moving at all. Well, that, that was great. That, that worked out, uh, just perfectly. Uh, there were ducks, so that's a bonus. Um, see if you could just, if you could sneak in, uh, camouflage, just go get some camouflage. Um, if you could sneak in, half the battle's already done right there. The rest is just patience and uh, moving um, hardly at all, really. I mean, just, just don't move, be patient. The ducks, they did a big loop. They came, they swam right by me. I was able to get some, some good shots. I got at least three or four really solid shots. Um, and I, I got some good video too for for you guys. So um, if you could just, you know, take a couple hours to yourself, go out. Um, find a pond that you could access fairly easily uh, with tall grass surrounding it or some sort of ridge. You don't want to like go on a rock. You're you're too visible. Um, just take your time. Stay quiet. Adjust your settings again. I was on aperture priority, uh, which was wide open. ISO was 400, and my shutter speed. I mean, I was averaging like 800th of a second. Um, so that's plenty fast. Whether they're Swimming, flying, whatever. I, I was pretty much set. Uh, my autofocus was on autofocus single, so it locks on to the duck. 
Uh, it was also on one center point, so I could shoot through the grass. Okay, that's that's really important. Um, what else? Oh, I was on burst mode the whole time, so I could just fire off a whole bunch of shots. Um, so those are the settings that I use. Doesn't mean you have to use it, but that hopefully gives you some sort of base to um, to go on, and. Uh, there weren't really like a hundred great photography tips here, but hopefully this video leaves you with something or some sort of idea that you could use. Okay, thanks for watching.